Hello everyone, welcome to today's RAM mounts product training session. In today's session, we're gonna be talking about device holders that are available with RAM mounting components. We're gonna be talking about all the different types of holders that are available, different types of devices that we make mounting solutions for, talking about the different product lines, the different features and functionality, really getting into the whole range, uh, focusing on the device specific aspect of the different mounting components that RAM mounts offers. So covering the whole range of different devices, you have your most common consumer electronics, such as your phone, tablet, laptop, your cameras, GPSs, it could be your handheld radio, handheld PC, but then there are other handhelds and other devices or other items such as your cup holder, it could be a microphone, your printer, keyboard, notepads, we have spotlight options, gun holster clip, fishing rod holders, many other types of items and options to choose from. Some of these are form factor for specific devices and even device models, and then some of them can be even universal to a point where it may be something miscellaneous. As long as it fits the dimensions of a universal holder, then it will work with our RAM mounting systems. Or instead of going off of the dimensions, you can go off of the hole pattern option. Uh, so if there's a set of holes on a device that will line up with a, one of our plates, that's another way of connecting a device to a RAM mount instead of using an actual holder. So looking at some features and functions here, uh, there are form fit versus universal options to choose from, as I just mentioned. There is the ability to support your device if it either has a skin or case or does not have any skin or case on it. Um, and as I mentioned before, ball adapters can go directly to a device if it has a particular hole pattern. We have wireless charging options to choose from as well as power options for certain devices. So for some holders, you can either have powered or non-powered options. And then also for certain holders, you have the ability to have locking or non-locking. And with the locking, you have the choice of a key lock or combination lock there. For peripheral support, this is a matter of connecting a device to a docking station where you're not just connecting power, but you're also simultaneously connecting your device to your third-party peripherals, such as a keyboard, mouse, scanner, printer, other type of peripherals out there. And we have temperature regulating accessories, such as a cooling fan that we built into some of our products as well. So jumping right in with our most common product line here, uh, the most well-known holder that RAM out has is the RAM X-Grip. So this is available for different sizes of phones and also different sizes of tablets. So some key features here is this is one of the most universal holders that we have. It's simply a matter of, as you can see in that graph right there, it's, it's simply a spring-loaded holder where you expand the arms out and then you insert the device to accommodate your phone or even GPS or other device, as long as it fits the dimensions, it will fit in there properly. The X scripts do come with a tether option and they'll support phones or tablets with or without a case or sleeve. These do have a maximum thickness support of 0.875 inches. So that's really the only limitation there when it comes to a case or sleeve. As you can see at the full lineup of holders here, we have for small phones, your UN7BU. These all start with RAM-HOL. That's a key indicator of a holder part number. So RAM-HOL-UN7BU is for the small phone. UN10BU is for large phone. UN8BU is for your small seven to eight inch tablets. And now the BU in that part number indicates that it comes with a ball on the back. There is a C size version of that. That's a BCU for C size ball that is available for the UN7, UN10, and UN8. For the UN9 and UN11, the RAM HOL UN9U is for your 9 to 10.5 inch tablets. And then the UN11U is for your 12 inch tablets. So certain 11 inch tablets could be somewhere in between here. Um, on RAMount.com, if you select the exact make and model of your device, our website will generate the proper holder that will accommodate whatever device that you have selected. So there's, uh, we've eliminated any kind of guesswork there. And as you can see, there are different colors of caps to choose from. The default color is black, but you can see there's a cap dash four dash red U. So a set of four red caps or a set of four blue caps in which you can stick them onto any of these variations of the RAM X grip. Next, we're looking at the RAM tab tight and tab lock series. Now this product line is specifically for tablets, but it's a universal system where you have two different types of body portions. You can see the tab lock is the one selected here. This is the locking version, and then you have your non-locking RAM tab tight. So these bodies will connect to a range of different sizes of cups to accommodate different sizes of tablets. So these have a nice universal design to them. Again, you have your locking and non-locking options. It can fit your tablet with or without a case, depending on the size of the cup that you select. And with the interchangeable end cups, you have the ability to disassemble and reassemble, and you can upgrade your holder for supporting 
and going from one device to a new device. As you can see in the sequence here, you can remove the cups from one and upgrade to another tablet, and then you can insert that new tablet and it works just as well. So this is a great way to upgrade from one tablet to another and keep the price point the most efficient. And then you can also upgrade from locking to non-locking or vice versa. So the modularity of these components makes it a great rugged and modular system for supporting your tablet with or without a case of all different sizes. Again, on RamMount.com, you can select the make and model of your device, and also if your device has a case or sleeve on it, and our site will generate the proper holder for your device that is compatible. However, you can see in this graphic here, this is a chart that shows all of the different tab type models. So there's RAM-HOL-TAB11U, TAB2U. The locking version would have an L, so it's a TAB L2U, TAB L4U, and so on and so forth. With this chart, you can see the exact range, all the different height ranges of these, all the different uh, maximum widths, and all the different maximum depths. So one thing to keep in mind here, this is for anyone that would want to determine what is the best fitting tap tight holder for their device going off of the dimensions. If it's perhaps either a new or obscure tablet where our website is not generating the recommended holder, you could go off of the dimensions of your tablet to determine what's gonna work. So we're gonna look at an example here. We'll take, for instance, the Apple iPad 10.2. This is their latest ninth gen model of the iPad. As you can see here, the dimensions are 9.87 by 6.85 by 0.3 inches. Now, if you're to determine the best fitting tab tight holder for the iPad 10.2, the first item to look at is the height, so 9.87. So you look at the different height ranges on here. My method of doing this is to select all of the models that fit the 9.87 range. So as you can see, everything marked red will support 9.87 inches. 9.87 is between the ranges for each of these holders. So many options to choose from here. So there's some more narrowing down to do. Next, you look at the width, which is 6.85 inches. So this narrows down a little bit further by looking at any of these holders that have that maximum width of 6.85. So you can see it's been narrowed down to still several options here. And then lastly, look at the thickness, which is 0.3 inches. My general rule with this is to set the maximum to be no more than double what the width is. So I would narrow down any holder that is greater than 0.6 inches. So as you can see, the last two here, we have the RAM HOL Tab 3U and the RAM HOL Tab 26U. Now between these two, because these all still technically fit, the next step will be to compare the dimensions of each of these, specifically the width. The width is gonna uh, be the most important factor here. The height is not as much of a factor because it's all spring-loaded, so you're still gonna have the proper tension no matter what, as long as it's within the range. But the width is gonna determine how much of a gap there is in the cups of the tablet. And so you want the one that is gonna be closest to the 6.85 here. So with the seven inch, that's gonna be much smaller. If you go with the 7.75, you're, you're gonna have an overall extra gap of 0.75 inches beyond what the seven inch version has here. So if you were to subtract seven inches from 6.85, you're gonna have 0.15 inches remaining. And if you have the tablet centered, that's just a really small gap on each side, so it should be suitable for that. And then also looking at the thickness, this is only 0.34 versus 0.3, so that should be a relatively snug fit for it. So as you can see, based on these dimensions, the recommended holder we would list for the Apple iPad 10.2 is the RAM HOL Tab 26U or the Tab Lock version RAM HOL Tab L 26U. Now there's more to this to consider. The iPad might have a case on it. So generally with a case, because there are so many different types of cases on there, we have to assume one of the relatively bulkier cases, such as an OtterBox case, perhaps. So the general rule, just to be on the safe side, is for us to add 0.5 inches to each dimension. So from 9.87, we're going up to 10.37. From 6.85, we're going up to 7.35. And from 0.3, we're bumping it up to 0.8. And then you simply just repeat the exact same steps again. So looking at the 10.37 height, I've selected all the height ranges here that will accommodate 10.37. Still a lot to choose from, so next you look at the 7.35 width, and that narrows it down to just a few left here. And then lastly, looking at the 0.8 inches, this is gonna narrow down those thinner cups. And as you can see, there's only one option here that fits all those dimensions properly. And then lastly, you just kind of verify the width. So 7.43 is the width of this tab 20 cup. So there should again be a really small gap there 
uh, so it should be a relatively snug fit for accommodating this. So for the Apple iPad 10.2 9th gen with a case, we would recommend the RAM HOL Tab 20U. So at RAM mounts, we're constantly updating our compatibility in terms of new devices coming out. So we want to be as up to date as possible. So we do want to eliminate that guesswork so that people don't necessarily have to follow these steps. But if anyone is looking to take an advanced approach in determining tab type compatibility with a given device that might be brand new or we have not yet determined exact fitment, please reach out to your account rep or manager to get access to this chart. And so you can follow these exact same steps. Next, we're going to take a look at the RAM Quick Grip and Quick Grip XL. So this is another type of a universal phone holder that will simply support any phone or device that fits the dimensions. So consider universal in that sense. So it's a spring loaded holder, but you also have adjustable side fingers to accommodate different widths of phones and also different placement of those fingers. So you can keep your buttons and side ports of your phone exposed. As you can see with the two different sizes to choose from, those simply have different height ranges. So your plus size larger phones would be for the Quick Grip XL, that's the RAM HOL PD4U. And then the smaller original is the RAM HOL PD3U. These are great on motorcycles and vehicles, pretty much anywhere. Uh, one thing that's great about this one that has somewhat of an advantage over the RAM X Grip series is that this one allows for one-handed insertion and removal. Whereas with the X-Grip, it requires two hands, one to expand the arms out and lay the device against the holder. And so there's a little bit of a trade-off there, but some people do prefer the overall design and look and feel of the X-Grip. And so it's somewhat of a user preference choosing between these different phone holders. And whether you prefer the look and feel of the RAM X-Grip versus the RAM Quick Grip, both of these holder designs have wireless charging options here. So these are the two different wireless charging holders. You can see the corner, all the different power specs that are here. These do have a maximum power output of 10 watts. So the x -Grip version is what we call the RAM Tough Charge with x -Grip technology. And then the RAM Quick Grip Wireless is what you see here. They both have the exact same type of wireless charging feature, just different designs of the actual holders themselves to match the original RAM x -Grip and RAM Quick Grip. And as you can see from motorcycle use, these do have an optional RAM Charge V7MU. This is a hardware charger with the USB type A port for connecting to a motorcycle. Now there are a few limitations to consider with these wireless chargers. Uh, one thing that's important to note that's in the specs up here is the maximum case thickness, which we say is six millimeters. So really we say that these holders can support devices with or without a case, but depending on the case that you're using, it could possibly interfere with the ability to wirelessly charge your device. So it could be a case that has wireless charging built into the case, which may not be an issue. But if it's a thick case that's being used, that could create more of a distance between the wireless charging source and your device, which could hinder the ability to properly wirelessly charge your device. And so we do have the case thickness range of six millimeters. Anything beyond six millimeters in thickness is gonna become questionable in terms of whether or not it can support your device. It's also important to keep in mind the charging standards of the device that you're using. So certain phones like some newer iPhone models might have a higher charging standard or requirement, or they may be running apps that consume power at a higher rate than what the wireless charger is able to provide. So you might see slow draining depending on certain device models. So that's what's important about being mindful of the power specs here is being mindful of also the power requirements of your phone. And in addition to wireless charging, we have solutions now for Apple MagSafe. So we have the ball adapter here. This is just a straightforward ball adapter that receives the MagSafe just like this. That's the part number RAP-B-202-AP-MAGU. So this one is for light duty and closed cockpit applications, but it will support all MagSafe compatible phones. The reason why we say it's light duty is because nothing is really holding the phone in place that is a RAM mount product. The only thing that is keeping the phone in place is the strength of the magnets in the MagSafe itself. And therefore we cannot really recommend it for any motorcycle or on water open cockpit use. If it's in any kind of a vehicle or an environment where it can hit a bump and it can fall, it's, there's nothing on the RAM mount that's keeping it from falling. And so we have to be conservative as far as what environments we can recommend this solution for. But then as you can see, we have come out with a more rugged and heavy duty version of this. This is the part number RAM-HOL-UN15WBU. As you can see, this takes a version of the RAM quick grip design. So it's a spring loaded holder where we build the MagSafe into the holder itself. And so you can use your third party MagSafe and insert it into the puck design that we have 
built into the RAM Quick Grip holder, and then there's a plate that covers it. So this is a way for us to accommodate MagSafe charging while also having a holder that's keeping your phone in place and firm and set for any rugged environments. There is some compatibility issues regarding the iPhone 13s. The iPhone 13s have a larger camera that is actually creating a little bit of a gap for some of these holders. So when in doubt, uh, the compatibility on ramout.com is up to date so you can see which devices will work with these MagSafe holders. Next, we're looking at the RAM Tough Case. So this is more of an industrial transportation industry type solution for tablets where it's a case, it's considered a case with a holder option. So the Tough Case itself is a case that provides a housing around the device that also integrates charging. So it's charging that is tethered to the vehicle at all times. You can see with that oversized strain relief here. And then you can have this case mounted inside of the RAM holder. This is the RAM Easy Roller design, which we're going to talk about in a later slide. So this is a form fit holder to accommodate certain devices with the RAM Tough Case. And then it has all the features available to access your buttons, your microphone. You have your stylus holder here. This one's for the Tab Active 2 and Tab Active 3. You can see all the different models that we made the RAM Tough Case for. With that oversized string relief, it gives you the flexibility to move the tablet in and out of the vehicle with that long cable if needed. So if you have to hand the uh, tablet off to someone that's outside of the truck, you can still keep it tethered to the vehicle uh, at all times. And so as you can see, we've done this for the Samsung Tab Active 3, some of the Tab A series, the Tab S6 Lite, Tab Active Pro, and some of the Tab A 8.0 models. And then as you can see here, we have the corresponding form fit holders uh, with and without a cooling fan. So that's another thing, the fact that you have constant power running to these devices, these are designed in a way to help regulate the temperature. You can see with the tough case effect, I'll go to the previous slide here. One big feature with the tough case is that we keep the back, both the front and the back of the case wide open. And this is for keeping it temperature to flow in and out from the device. So hot air can escape the device properly and not cause any overheating. But then the holders also have a built-in fan option to bring cool air in and keep the temperature regulated. And on the topic of temperature regulation, it's important to note that specifically with the Samsung Galaxy Tab Active 3, there's a new feature that they've introduced called no battery mode. So you can actually operate the tablet without the battery inside of the tablet as long as you have constant power running to the device because the battery can be a high contributor to overheating of a tablet. And so for long-term use, specifically in trucking applications, by using the RAM Tough Case, you can operate the tablet without its battery. So you can have the no battery mode. And then again, with the wide open spot on the Tough Case and with the cooling fan option, you have three different key points of regulating the temperature of your device. Next, we're looking at the GDS Tough Dock and GDS Cool Dock. So we've already done a full product training session on GDS technology, so we won't really go into much detail with this. If you do want to learn more about this product line, uh, please check out the GDS product training session. We go deep into this product line. But essentially, these are rugged power docking stations that have locking and non-locking, the cooling fan option, and peripheral support for various tablets and devices with IntelliSkin. So be sure to check that out for more information there. Here we have the RAM Universal Handstand. So this is a new product that has come out. So there is with GDS technology an ergonomic accessory called the GDS Handstand. So that was a two-in-one hand strap and kickstand accessory that you can implement into an IntelliSkin. But this is a universal version that will essentially work with any size tablet without any IntelliSkin needed. It can work with any case or with no case at all. You can see the full range here. So you have the RAM-HS1U that will support seven to eight inch tablets, the RAM-HS2U that will support nine to 13 inch tablets. We say 13 inches because it could include Microsoft Surface tablets and it can even support the largest iPads such as the iPad Pro 12.9. So for 12.9, we round that up to three inches. So it could potentially do more, but these are the largest tablets that we know of on the market today that will work with the RAM Universal Handstand. And so with this two-in-one hand strap and kickstand accessory, you can pretty much take this anywhere with you. You can have it positioned on a tabletop, countertop, or workbench, workstation, and then on the go using that hand strap accessory, you can rotate it between portrait and landscape mode. So it's a very convenient and very ergonomic accessory for virtually any tablet out there. Next, getting into laptop options, we have what we call the RAM Tough Tray. 
So we have a whole range of laptop vehicle mounting systems and all of those vehicle kits will come with the tray that you see right here. So this is the Ram Tough tray. Part number for the tray by itself is Ram-234-3. This is a universal tray that will support virtually any 10 to 16 inch wide laptop. But considering the overall width, this will include 17.5 inch wide laptops that are on the market. That 17.5 inch is in reference to the diagonal screen size. So that's gonna be a little bit longer, but the true width of the physical dimensions of the laptop will go up to a maximum of 16 inches as you can see here. And as you can see in the lower left graphic here, you have the adjustable arms that can move up and down. So you have a slotted hole that lets you position the arm up and down. That's for accommodating different thicknesses of laptops. And then the side to side motion on the tray lets you accommodate different buttons or ports to keep your drives and everything on the laptop fully accessible. So it's a universal tray, but you can configure the arms so that it's designed specifically for your laptop. And there are many accessories to choose for, such as alternate flat side arms that let you close the laptop down all the way. There's a screen support option, power caddy. You can mount devices to the side of the tray. There are locking kit options many different ways of customizing the laptop tray to fit your specific needs. And here we're looking at a smaller version of the Ram Tough Tray that we call the Ram Tough Tray 2. This is part number Ram-234-6. Not nearly as common, but it's for supporting those smaller laptops or what they used to call netbooks. So you can see the overall dimension ranges that you can support here. This has actually been well known to support also very large tablets where there is no other suitable tablet holder. You can position the tray sideways so it works like a holder just like everything else. And you can see here there are four different styles of finger grips that you can support on the sides of the tray. And this is a good option for supporting large 12.9 or iPad Pro models that might have a case or sleeve on them like a bulky case that might be too big for any of our other holders. Uh, this is sometimes a good backup option for those devices. Next, we're looking at a key design that is used in many different RAM form fit holders that's called the RAM Easy Roller. What makes the Easy Roller is an independent roller that you see on the right side of this graphic here. So by having this roller in place, this independent roller will allow you to roll the device into the holder so it reduces the snapping motion and helps protect the device edge from any long-term scuffing or scraping from inserting and removing from the device. This is a nice, clean, low profile design and a low cost. So whenever Ram does offer a form fit holder, I always recommend the form fit over the universal options, just because it's always better to have a nice form factor for your device versus something that could be, you know, universal, but also a little more on the bulky side at times and a little less efficient in terms of price point. But really at the end of the day, it comes down to individual user preference. You can see that we've done these for iPads, GPSs, and other types of devices. Generally, if it's a, a little bit of on the larger size of a device, so uh, iPhone holders are not large enough to need the roller, but for iPads and certain GPS models will implement that roller design. Next in our line of universal options is the RAM finger grip holder. So the finger grip is simply a universal backing plate with many different types of finger grips that you can position onto the slotted holes. So this can fit your GPS, your radio, phone, handheld PC, or even a Bluetooth speaker if you can position it underneath the bottom of a Bluetooth speaker. But ultimately you can see here, it is most commonly used for handheld radios now because they can accommodate very thick devices and handheld radios do tend to be thicker than most other GPSs or phones on the market. Before the RAM X grip, this was considered the universal phone holder, but it's a little more on the bulky side. And so the RAM X grip and the quick grip became better solutions for that. But this is still a great option for universal miscellaneous electronics, such as handheld radios. We have three different thicknesses of side fingers that have rubber caps that you can position. So really that you can see in the bottom right here, this is what comes with the holder. You have two different sizes of end pieces, and then you have quantity four of three different thicknesses of finger grips. So you can really configure this to fit any specific device. And then another universal option here is called the RAM Aquabox. So this is considered a weatherproof casing for a device. So you can see here, we have four different models and sizes. You have the RAM-HOL-AQ1U, this is your large, and then AQ2U is your medium, AQ3U is your small, and AQ6U is the medium wide. If you go to RAMMount.com, you can look at the internal dimensions for each of these holders. So you can see how much space is in each of these boxes that you can configure your device. 
and each of these boxes do also come with three different thicknesses of foam pads. So you can use either one of them or a combination of two or three. These have adhesives that you peel away and you can stick inside of the box. This allows you to maintain pressure of the device against the flexible lens. So you can see the flex lens right here allows you to operate and even press buttons on the device while it's in the holder. And the foam pads allow you to do that by pressing the device firm up against the flex lens. These do also have cutouts on the back of the box so you can route cables through there and you can cut holes through the foam pads or you can pretty much turn it into a form factor holder for your device. And you can see in use here, it's not waterproof so you cannot submerge it in water but it's considered weatherproof. So it's safe to use in outdoor uh, rain type environments, rain, mud, splashes and whatnot. Next, we're looking at camera ball adapters. So there are a number of different adapters to choose from here. So we'll take a quick look at each one of these. On the far left, you have the GoPro and action camera adapter. This is probably the most common one at this point now because more and more action cameras have taken on that Garmin connection slash design instead of the quarter 20 adapter. And so that's a B size ball. So essentially you can connect your action camera to any B size RAM ball and socket mounting system. And then the remaining four here are different variations of a quarter 20 adapter. So it's the typical tripod type of thread that you would see underneath the camera. So the first one here is what's called the RAM Tough Ball. This part number wrap B379U 252025. That simply indicates the uh, threaded stud length coming out. That's a quarter 20 by quarter inch long. Uh, that has a steel reinforced post. So it's actually a bolt that runs through the base and that's why we call that the Tough Ball. And so that's one solid bolt that the ball is over molded um, onto. Next one here is the part number wrap B366U. This is a composite base with a 1.25 inch diameter plate that's at the end here. So a little bit of a larger footprint uh, to get just maybe a little more stability to the camera. And then this is also running through a bolt. It's not molded through it, but it actually has a thread that the quarter 20 bolt goes through and is routed through. So there's actually an open hole underneath this part of the ball. And then next one here is part number RAM B202AU. This is one of the relatively older ones. This is a marine grade aluminum base plate with a quarter 20 set screw that's tapped into the aluminum. So this is a set screw that's tapped in. So the post itself is backed by marine grade aluminum. And then the final one on here is part number RAP B202AU. So very similar to this first version here, but this is a high strength composite version. So this is a high strength composite plate with a quarter 20 stud tapped through. So it's somewhat of a matter of user preference between each of these. Going from right to left here, this is so somewhat of a sequence between the evolution of these adapters. They all do a great job. Uh, some may offer a little more stability than others. Uh, the one I typically prefer most is the tough ball version, just because that has a nice uh, steel reinforced post is better than the composite or the aluminum. But this newer version of the Rap B366U having the steel reinforced bolt going through is also very stable as well. Again, it will depend on if the camera that you're connecting would require the quarter 20 connection or if it has the universal action camera adapter slash GoPro mount. Next, we're looking at the RAM Level Cup and Level Cup XL. So these are the two types of self-leveling drink up holders. The original one, uh, part number RAM B132BU, will support drink sizes ranging from 12 to 16 ounces. And then the recently created larger version, the RAM Level Cup XL, part number RAP-B-417BU goes from 12 to 32 ounces. So you'll notice that there's a knob that's on the back of this version here. By loosening that knob, you can actually extend the height of the Level Cup XL base to accommodate larger drinks that will go up to 32 ounces. And this is an ABS composite that has a little bit of flex to it. So you can flex these fins on the cup holder to accommodate uh, specific large drink sizes. Both of these versions that come with the same gray Ram koozie. And the two self-leveling pivot points are shown here. So you have this uh, U-shaped piece that connects onto each side of the drink. So it self levels in that direction. And then the other articulating point is the connection between the ball and this U-shaped piece here. So that will swivel also. So if you're making a turn on your handlebar, the drink will stay level as you're going through there. Next up, we're looking at the RAM Power Plate 3. So this is another type of a universal holder where the way this one works is you have two built-in magnets that are inside of this composite plate. And then you have this steel plate 
uh, with this red peel away adhesive. So this is a 3M adhesive steel plate that you stick to the bottom of the device. So this is for the two main use cases would be for radar detectors and also for the bottom of our RAM Bluetooth keyboard. So if you look at the bottom of this radar detector right here, you can see this is the steel plate that has been adhered to the bottom of the radar detector. And then that steel plate will lock up with the rectangular shaped grooves of the power plate. And then that locks up with the magnets and it holds up in place. So to remove it, you twist to disengage that rectangular plate from that inside groove portion and then it lifts right out. But those magnets are very strong and will hold it in and uh, do a great job doing so. Uh, but again, it could also be used for holding any Bluetooth keyboards, any lighter keyboards, such as the RAM Bluetooth keyboard here. There's clearance underneath the keyboard for connecting the power plate to there as well. And so then the bottom of the plate integrates the uh, RAM four hole amps hole pattern, uh, industry standard four hole amps hole pattern. So then you can connect it to any RAM mounting system. Next, we're looking at a couple of uh, microphone holder options. So first part number here, RAM-VC-MC, and then second one, RAM-VC-MC1M. Only difference between these is the, v the MC1M has an added magnetic adapter. So similar, same magnets that are used in the power plate three from the previous slide. These can be built in so you can lock this up against a steel or ferromagnetic surface or you can simply use the standard microphone clip as a drill down, or you can adapt it onto a double ball mount, such as what's shown in the in-use photo right here. You have the midline microphone that clips right in. So the microphones will have a pretty industry standard button that's on the back. And so you simply pull the tab that's on this microphone holder, and then it clicks right in place. So here we're looking at our printer holder options. There are a number of uh, options here that we're gonna look at the next couple slides. These first ones are form fit holders. So this first part number RAM-VPR-101 is somewhat of a universal but also form factor Brother Pocket Jet series. So all the Brother Pocket Jet models that have come out have that same design that seats right inside and it also is able to hold the paper feed that is a two-part housing uh, with adjustable knobs that allow you to open it up. So uh, what I'm highlighting right here is the enclosed version. And then there's another form fit holder, RAM-VPR-106, that is for the Brother Rugged Jet RJ4030 and RJ4040. So to date, those are the only form factor printer holders. The rest are on a universal system that's called the RAM Quick Draw that is intended for both printers and some other devices that we'll show next here. So the RAM Quick Draw, what makes the RAM Quick Draw its own product line is the spine component right here. So this is a spring-loaded spine where you can connect different types of cups, and then that makes it somewhat of a universal holder. So in this bottom row, you'll see these RAM-VPR-103, 104, 105, 102. There are two different sizes of the Quick Draw. The one uh, that we're looking at right here is the Quick Draw Junior, but there's a longer version of it simply for accommodating wider devices. But the way these universal printer holders work is you have the quick draw spine portion and then you have two steel 90 degree plates with rubber caps. So with that spring loaded action, you can clamp these onto various sizes of printer holders. Um, each one has listed compatible dimensions on RamMount.com, but also if you select the exact printer make and model, you'll see the compatible quick draw holder that will work with that device. Now, in addition to the printers, there is also the ability to hold other devices such as scanner gun holders. So looking at the part number here, RAM-HOL-QD1U, that QD is for quick draw. You can see the way that it holds the scanner gun here is it supports the head portion of the scanner gun, so the pistol grip remains exposed. So then to remove it, you can simply grab onto the pistol grip and move it forward, and that will expand the spring tension and will allow you to remove it easily. This is a great option for some larger scanner guns, such as the Cognex that's shown here. And then we did make a set of custom cups for accommodating the top and bottom of the Zebra TC-8000 and TC-8300 by adapting those cups onto the quick draw system. Moving on to some additional scanner gun holders, this is the RAM drop and lock, and this is one of the earlier models of the scanner gun holder product lines. This will support the pistol grip portion of the scanner gun. So the pistol grip portion will drop inside, and then there's a lever here, in fact, in this graphic shows it better. When it drops, there's a spring-loaded lever that when pressed down, it will lock up against the pistol grip and it will hold it in place. So you can even mount this upside down or in any direction and the scanner gun will remain in place. And then you can see there's also a slot so that if it's a scanner gun that has a tethered cable connected to it, you can route the cable through there 
while being inside of the RAM drop and lock. There are two different mounting points. You can either integrate the two hole amp tool pattern that's underneath that has a round shaped disc, so the round ball plate on any RAM mounting system, or this two hole diamond hole pattern on the side right here will let you connect for a side profile if needed. And then to release the scanner gun from the holder, you simply pull up on the tab that's on the outside and then you can lift the scanner gun right out. A great feature with something like this is that because the head portion of the scanner is exposed, you can still scan documents while it's inside of the holder. And you can see the maximum width right here is 1.45 inches. So that's the maximum width of the pistol grip portion of the gun that can fit inside of the drop and lock. Now, one thing to consider is as many new scanner guns have come out, some of the pistol grips are a little bit larger on the bottom or have a large foot portion on the bottom. So they'll sometimes be too large to fit inside of the RAM drop and lock. And so that has prompted us to develop these other scanner gun holders. This is what we call the RAM Power Grip and RAM Power Grip XL. So this is in two different sizes. So as you can see here, this will hold the head portion of the scanner gun. So it keeps the pistol grip portion free like this. And then you have these rubber fins on the side that wedge and apply pressure to the scanner gun. So that's what holds it in place inside of the holder. But as you can see from this image right here with the holder tilted on its side, you can see that there's an opening on the RAM power grip holder. So you can actually scan documents and barcodes while it is still inside of the holder. So that's a great thing about that is that it holds the head of the scanner gun, but still allows you to scan documents while inside the holder. And then you have the four hole RAM amps hole pattern that's built on the back of this. And so with these two different sizes, there are different ranges of dimensions that you can support. But again, just like everything else, if you were to select the exact make and model of the scanner gun that you're looking for a holder for, on ramout.com, we will generate the proper fitting holder, whether it's the power grip or the drop and lock or the quick draw options. Next, we're looking at keyboard holder options. These are specifically for the GDS keyboard that we have. So again, if you check out the GDS product training session, we talk about the keyboards that are on there, but essentially we have taken the RAM tab tight and tab lock design and integrated special docking cups on the top and bottom that will house around the GDS keyboard. So it's one way of attaching the keyboard to a RAM mount. If you're not looking to have a ball and socket system mounted directly to the keyboard, you can instead put it in one of these holder options. And then this is the same power plate three that we were looking at before, the RAP-300-1U. This is the same plate that we can use for holding radar detectors. It has that steel adhesive plate. So again, just repeating what was on that previous slide, but these are mainly the keyboard holder options that are most common. Next, we're looking at some handheld PC holder options. So for most part, these are not part of any particular RAM mount product line or trademark name. But essentially, as we develop holders for various handheld PCs out there, we'll make form factor holders that will accommodate all the different accessories of the handheld PC, whether it's a rugged boot, a hand strap, or other types of accessories that may be paired with the handheld PC. We want to make sure that all of that is available and functional while inside of the RAM mount docking stations. So we'll typically offer these with power, whether it's a USB type A or with a DC connector, and they'll also be available in locking or non-locking forms. And then the locking options could be a key lock or combination lock. So a lot to choose from here. These are the first models that we have been developing these form factor power docks for. So next we're going to take a look at a couple different types of universal document holders. The first one here is the RAM multi-pad. So this is a universal hard writing surface that has a couple different ways of securing documents to the holder. The first is by using the spring-loaded clip that's at the top. It can hold a single sheet or it can hold a small notepad or legal pad, such as what's shown in the in-use photo here or you can hold any three inch or four inch small notepad by utilizing the slot that's up here. So this is actually a pocket that lets you insert the cover portion of the notepad so you can slide it in place. And then that's what can hold the notepad in there. And then the RAM multipad does come with this steel cased pen that will lock up with built-in magnets that are on the multipad itself. So this is great if you have this mounted upright on a forklift or in any outdoor environment, any place where maybe there's not a convenient place to store your uh, pen, then you can simply have it clipped onto the multipad just like that for quick and convenient access. There are two different mounting points on the multipad. There is the four hole industry standard amps pattern that's behind, directly behind on the multipad. And then there's also a two hole diamond pattern up here. So depending on what kind of offset or positioning that you need 
on the multi-pad, you can have it mounted in a couple different ways as well. And then next we're looking at the RAM handy case. So this is a much larger accessory, but you can see this is a fully enclosed case that can hold various documents, your pen, paper clips, uh, thumb drives, any kind of small accessories that you can keep on the go. Uh, so with the steel case it has a nice convenient carrying handle. This has many different ways of customizing this case. So you have all these different holes for integrating different types of hole patterns. It does come with a steel spring loaded clip. And so you can have the clip positioned anywhere on the outside. If you want to use the outside of the case as a writing surface uh, for holding notepads, you can see two different types of pin lock patterns that are on the corners here. This actually allows you to attach other mounting components to the tough case. And so you can have your phone mounted to the corner um, or other components mounted on there. As you can see, you can insert magnets along the handy case. So any of these round spots here um, or on the inside, you can see them a little bit better. will allow you to position the rare earth magnets. So you can do two different things with the magnets. You can either clip the pen to the case on the outside, such as what's shown in that image, or you can put enough magnets on the back of the handy case and then you can clip it to a steel or ferromagnetic surface, such as what's shown on the in use photo that's on here you can have that flush up against a wall just like that. So a nice low profile way of mounting it up against the surface. And then you can, with a little bit of strength, just pull it away and you're on the go with, with your documents. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with this design, but essentially it's a heavy duty ergonomic document holder slash writing surface. Next, we're looking at the LED spotlight. So you can see the specs here for the wattage, the lumens, the type of bulb that's used. Uh, part number four, the spotlight itself is RAM-B-152B. So this is not necessarily a holder, but it's a device it's in itself. So it's considered somewhat of maybe a RAM accessory, but it could be just as valuable as your other devices if you're in any dark applications, uh, using it at night uh, for any ATVs or UTVs or on a boat, and then different ways of mounting it onto different types of rails or other surfaces using the RAM B-size bond socket mounting components. But it's a really strong, intense uh, spotlight that's used for various outdoor environments and also has a nice carrying handle. So if you need to make any quick adjustments, you can hold on to it on one end while loosening the ball and socket mount. And next here, we're looking at a gun holster adapter. So this is a steel plate with a loop that can connect onto any gun holsters. So pretty straightforward, just the plate itself with the screws and nuts for tightening down. And then with the amps hole patterns, you can essentially use this clip to adapt a gun holster to any RAM ball and socket mounting system. And we'll be wrapping up this session in just a minute, but we'll give just a little bit of an introduction to some Marine related holders that are on here. We'll be covering Marine specific solutions in a future product training session. But you can see there are different ways of holding fishing rod holders with the product line that we refer to as the Ram Rod system. There's Ram Rod HD, Ram Rod Junior, there's the tube system, Ram Tube, Tough Tube, Tube Junior, Lightspeed, many different designs that have different types of features. So a lot of it is a matter of user preference or certain applications. Some make more sense for trolling, some make more sense for kayaks uh, versus bass boats. Uh, they're mostly on a post and spline system, some are on a ball and socket system. So a lot of different features to consider. Um, so we'll be covering that in a future product training session, but it's good to be aware of these rod holder options. And then we have the Ram roller ball, which is a paddle holder accessory. So this is available as a single or a two pack. So if you have a long paddle, you can see in the news photo here, you can use a second roller ball to support the paddle by doing this. So this is pretty universal. It was designed for paddles on kayaks, but you can use it for a lot of different applications. It could be for, uh, various tools like yard tools. Uh, you can have track system in your garage with yard tools in there. Um, any kind of a pole connection. Uh, in fact, we have a tough pole system for mounting action cameras and you can stow it away and have it clipped onto the roller ball here as well. You can support microphones, boom mics if needed. So any essentially it's a universal pole type uh, holder. So any long, narrow devices or items, um, or as you can see up top here, there's also a net uh, that fishermen can use while kayaking that will also work inside of the rollerball. So a lot of potential uh, different options that can be done with it. It's essentially a paddle holder, but it's universal enough uh, to where you can do a lot more with it potentially. There are three pressure points on the rollerball. So you have these two independent ball components that will roll inward as you're pressing the pole into the component. And then you have a spring loaded button 
that also helps maintain pressure. So nothing is loose while it's inside. Another great uh, tidbit slash feature of the rollerball that uh, we hear from kayakers is that it's somewhat of a silent component. When you put the paddle in the roller, there are other types of paddle holders out there that have kind of a snap-in type action. And when they're kayaking in calm waters and trying to catch fish, when they secure their paddle in their kayak, it actually makes a loud noise and scares the fish away, where with the rollerball, it rolls right in place without making a sound. So it's a nice little, nice little added feature for uh, fishermen that are using paddles. And then there is the tough clip here. So this is more of a snap-in type option, but you can see that this is another option here. The Ram Tough Clip is available in a few different types of mounting alternatives. So you have a drill down option slash direct track system with the Tough Clip. You have a suction cup option, and then you have the Tough Claw option. So pretty universal in that sense, but just another paddle holder option there. So that's going to cover it for the different types of device holders that we have. This is really just a top level view of the range of devices that we support and really just covering top level features and being aware of the main product lines that are out there. Uh, for most of what you see on ramount.com, there are going to be different variations of what you're seeing in this session. But if you have any additional questions, please reach out to your account manager um, or your account rep, um, and then they will be able to provide further information. But I want to thank you for joining us today in the session of Ramount's product training, and we will see you next time. Thank you.